What's happening guys? Out here in Beverly Hills, taking care of a client that we've been working with for about 10 years now. Um, essentially what we do here is in the summertime for this school, uh, at Detroit Country Day, we take out roughly a thousand square feet of brick. Um, job was installed really well. Big problem is slag sand. Um, I know we've talked about slag sand in different videos, but here you're gonna see it on a grand scale, a ton of problems here. Um, unfortunately, all this entire parking lot that you see is gonna need to be taken out and replaced uh, here in the near future as the, uh, it's starting to deteriorate quicker than we, what we can replace it. So we, about three days a year, we come here. Alejandro's running the project. He's also built a big patio for them in the back for everyone to gather. Uh, both Luis and Alejandro have been on this project. It's Alejandro for these three days. So we'll be here today, tomorrow, and also Saturday. So I'm gonna show you a few things here. What we're doing is we're doing spot replacement repair. So this area here, tripping hazard. And what you're gonna see when you're looking at this area here, they've already taken this brick out. So this brick here, they're replacing. And so slag damage, there's three phases of slag damage. What you're gonna start to see is this white calcification. So that's the first stage. Then the second stage, what you'll see is I like to call them little white lies, but they're little white lines. And these white lines, what you'll see when we walk here, if you follow me, now, then you'll start to see stuff like this. And a lot of people don't realize what this is. They think, oh, it's just a mar on the paver. What happens is these pavers are just sitting in water. So, this is very porous, it's always wet, and when it freezes, you start getting these hairlines. So this will break next year. Unfortunately, we can't replace these yet because they're not broken. But like for this one here and here, we're replacing them. And they're everywhere. This whole project is covered in them. They don't make this brick any longer, so we are, we're using the most equivalent thing we can find, which is our Fent Antique. This, this was Oaks. It was colonial and they're four by eight. They haven't made it in 10 years. So we're replacing, and you can see the areas we've replaced over the courses. Um, over here, they just took this out. That's all brick dust. This isn't, this isn't uh, your base. This is actual pieces, and we'll show you what this is, but this is brick dust. This is little chips and pieces of brick. This isn't even base. So you can see, even in those corners where it's too thin, that's this, these pavers are turning to dust as we speak. And it's, un, it's really unfortunate because it's not a bad installation. They set the grades right. They did a lot of things right here, but they didn't know what they didn't know. So now we have a situation where slag sand is here in Michigan only because it's from a steel byproduct. We are an auto manufacturing facility, so we have a lot of steel. All this is is scrapings from the iron ore foundry, and that's what slag sand is. It's a waste product that they figured out that they could sell it to us brick guys. Long ago, this is what all we used, and unfortunately in this industry, all these brick have to be replaced. Each of the manufacturers from Fent to Unilock, County, Oaks, high format, if you put your brick pavers on slag sand, they will not warranty. Your lifetime warranty is void. So that's something to think about as well. We're gonna follow through here because what we're focused on today is replacing the, the main area of drive. But if you notice again, the brick is literally disintegrating. That's brick. It, I can literally just, it's dust. It's all turned to dust. And this is happening everywhere. Again, you can see the area that we've replaced over the years, but it just gets progressively worse as we walk this way. So all these little white uh, things you see in the, in the joints, that's calcification. It just means it's staying wet, it's not drying, and then eventually when we get our freeze, when anything freezes, what does it do? It expands, so it breaks. And that's why we're seeing all these issues. Again, over here, same thing. I should not be able to lift this. This was a three inch paver, three inch paver. 
I don't even think that's a half an inch anymore. So if your contractor is using product like this, you're in trouble. So you see gray slag in the front of your house, like little fine gray slag, do not let your contractor put that in. They shouldn't put that in and you shouldn't let them because if they do, your lifetime warranty that you had with this manufacturer is done. It's gone. So guys, again over there, if you notice, look at all this. This is another example. I should not be able to do this. And that's, this is the brick. This isn't base. This is ludicrous that this is like this on a project like this. This brick is three inches and here we are at a half inch to an inch. Junk. And almost all of it's like this. If you look around this parking lot and pan, so that's what we're focused on these first two days is getting rid of all these divots. So we're, we're gonna eliminate tripping hazards. That's all we're here to do. Eliminate tripping hazards, eliminate uh, people from getting flat tires, driving in the parking lot, because there's a lot of very nice cars that come through here, low profile cars. So we don't wanna see those cars get damaged. Neither does the school. So the school is obviously fixing this as the kids are out. As we continue again, you see a lot of white in here. So all of this is really accelerating on deterioration all through this whole part of the project. So you rip one out and you see that there's a lot more that need to be done. And, it, and you could see with our amazing cameraman, Trevor, his awesome equipment, you can see the areas we've repaired already. They're all here. So the last thing we're gonna look at if we can, if we have enough brick, is over here. Now, when I was out here to look at this in the, in the spring, I couldn't see here because all the cars are normally parked here and the kids were still in school. So all of this looks pretty good until we get to about right here. All of this is destroyed. So this is real heavy, really bad all the way around. I mean, we're not gonna fix this right away just because this is gonna eat up a huge portion of our brick. But this whole area all the way down is destroyed. And again, all of this could have been avoided. All of it could have been avoided, but they put it on the wrong base. And unfortunately, this is, this is the aftermath. Here's an area we repaired as well a couple years back. But again, this has been a 10 year process of us just patching things along and repairing. Now I'm gonna show you the waste pile that we've already, we just got here about an hour ago. So we're gonna come this way. So the way we stage this project and the way they've allowed us to stage this project is we put our material back there and then we slowly bring it back up. And this is, uh, like I said, I, this is, uh, maybe it's even been longer than 10 years, but it, it, it's a beautiful school. And it's just an unfortunate circumstance that I see far too often, but this is seeing it on a really, really grand scale. This is, this is catastrophic fail. And if you look far off there, which we're gonna get up close to, that pile is brick. There's almost nothing left of it. It legitimately is just dust and powder from the concrete. So I would say within the next couple years, we're gonna have to replace it or they're gonna have to replace it with concrete. Um, as I've said to the school board and, and different people, um, don't just replace the, per, replace the pavers and pour concrete. That slag sand has to come out. If you don't get that slag sand out, it's gonna do the same thing to concrete that it did with pavers. So the number one and most important thing is your base. It's not what's put on top. Everything can look good when it's first put in, but if your base isn't right, you're gonna have premature failure. You're gonna have deterioration quicker. You're gonna have more repairs. And nobody wants to be one of our residual clients where we gotta come, come here every year or two just to patch it along. That's when people will say, brick pavers don't make sense in Michigan. And that's incorrect. 
Brick pavers do make sense in Michigan when you hire the right company that knows what they're doing and does it right and knows what to do with drainage, moving water, base preparation, compaction at 95% proctor. We're gonna make sure this is all we do, that it's done right, we get the proper drainage, we set the proper grades, and we're able to get a, the watershed that we're trying to achieve. So here's our pallets of pavers. And we, we bring out nine pallets, three a day. Here's what we've taken out so far. Again, this is all brick. It's unbelievable. Truly unbelievable. All of this is brick. This brick is supposed to last a lifetime. This life has been cut short. I mean, every single one is deteriorated on the bottom. Some more substantial than others. And then you can look at some of the other ones that might be a little bit thicker. But this is all brick dust. Look at how thick this brick was. Here's one right here. At one point, that's a three inch thick paver. That's what's happening on the bottom. So that's the other thing too, is you don't even notice it until it starts to really fall apart on top. So a lot of these projects are just getting ate up and then they don't realize they got a problem until it becomes a problem. I mean, that's insane. It's a half an inch. So if you're looking for brick pavers and you're looking to have them done right by the right company, crew like Alejandro, Luis, Larry, Diego, Noe, Alberto, Camarena, Chilango, Makai. These guys have been with me for a really long time and we focus on one thing, taking care of pavers, installing pavers, I should say three things, and maintaining them. If you want it done right and you want it to last, go to wertheguys.com or call us toll free at 1-800-BRICK-PAVERS. Have a great day and thank you for tuning into our video.